Ryan this time they're off and Battle Group has not gone with them. He has refused to start. Battle Group is already out of the race. He's planted himself at the start, and Golan Way is already a long way behind the others. Hunt Ball is also right out the back, and so too is Mombeg Dude, as T for three is right up there in the firing line, and so too is across the bay as they prepare to rise at the first. And the grey rose of the moon is also among the leaders as they take the first fence. Twirling Magnet was a faller at the first and quite badly hampered Golan Way in the process, but the rest seem to have got over it safely. On to fence two, they come Wayward Prince up with the leaders with across the bay and a noseband and the package towards the outer. Uh, Burden Porters uh, come down at fence two. Uh, horse galloping away, loose none the worse, and now they come to the big ditch. Prince de Beauchene, Red Cup up the inner long run is prominent. Leaders go streaming out over the ditch. We've lost Big Shoe at the ditch. Big Shoe unseated. On to fence four they go across the bay. Long run wayward Prince just ahead of Rose of the Moon and the package. Leaders over safely. Charles de Roy made quite a bad mistake. Alvarado is towards the rear with Buckers Bridge and Golan Way. Tidal Bay is well back at this stage. Also towards the rear last time. Dalba, Cruz Lennon and Vesper Bell as they take the fifth. And as they jumped the fifth, it was Long Run who touched down just in front there from Mountainous in second, and then came Rose of the Moon with Across the Bay next in the field from Wayward Prince and T for three, and then Colbert Station just in front of Mr. Moonshine. Then down towards the inside, Rasta Maria, as they come to face up to Beaches, Across the Bay the leader as they took Beaches. General Bunchy up the inside, and uh, might have lost one on the inside there as they went over Beaches Brook. As they head down towards Foyne Avon, it's Across the Bay who leads the way from Long Long run and then came up the inside Prince de Beauchan just in front then a mountainous as they make the way towards the canal turn then wayward Prince and Balthazar King the package and T for three chase up with one in a Milan next in the field is Rocky Creek and then Golan Way and the Rainbow Hunters they take the canal turn now and Golan Way is down at the canal turn and Tidal Bay has been brought down Tidal Bay is down at the canal turn and also been unshipped there is our father as across the bay and long run lead and long run's gone at Valentine's long run is down at Valentine's Mountainous is also down at Valentine's and the Rainbow Hunter gets only one fence further than 12 months ago. He's gone as well as they go to the fence after Valentine's. Across the bay, left in a clear lead from Mr. Moonshine in the blue and yellow. Colbert Station is tracking them with Rocky Creek in the red, white and blue. Prince de Beauchene still prominent towards the inside. Uh, then Rose of the Moon who's leading a cluster of greys as Across the Bay safely takes the ditch. T for three back in midfield with Double Seven who made a mistake on the run down towards Beecher's first time. Cruz Linen and Vest Bell still towards the rear with Shakalaka Boom Boom and Leon Abane and Chance de Roy and Buckers Bridge as they step out over the next. Swing Bill meanwhile is in mid-division. Walk-On is another one who's towards mid-division as they go over the Anchor Bridge crossing and heading back uh, towards the grandstands with Across the Bay leading the field from Colbert Station and then Rose of the Moon and Rocky Creek and Mr. Moonshine and Prince de Beauchene. Pino Pinot de Rey is tracking the package. Balthazar King in a red jacket is out wide from Wayward Prince. Monbeg Dude is towards midfield track there by Hawks Point swing Bill walk on as they swing on in to face the next. So it is across the bay who has got the lead now by around about a length and a half or so as he faces up on towards the next fence in the home straight. Racing in second is Colbert Station and then towards the inside in third position is Mr. Moonshine is racing alongside one of the greys Rose of the Moon and then Balthazar King as they cross over that fence. Pino de Rey made a very bad mistake and badly hampered one in a million but both of them have survived. Very hard driven now is Vintage Star, who's been well off the bit for about half a mile. Vesper Bell's made blunders and has dropped right out the back of the field as they go over the fence, which will be the last in a circuit's time. Shakalaka Boom Boom was very slow over that fence. So they now come on towards the 15th, which is the chair. And it's Colbert Station, who is now tracking the leader across the bay. Across the bay, hounded by loose horses as he comes into his takeoff stride. But he's jumped it OK to Colbert Station, who's over in second. T for three is down. Down. T for three has gone on the inside and is the only one to come down at the chair. So they go towards the 16th of water. It is across the bay who leads by three lengths. Colbert Station over in second. Mr. Moonshine was over in third. And then towards the inside, Prince de Beauchene was in fourth. Rose of the Moon is in fifth as they go into the turn. Double seven and Wayward Prince and carried out is across the bay. Across the bay, the leader was carried out by loose horses. He has now rejoined, but he's now lost a great deal of ground. About 40 lengths, one would imagine as they make the run on towards the Melling Road and a new leader sweeping around the outside. It is Rocky Creek and Noel Feely who have now come through to head the field to Mr. Moonshine, Prince de Beauchene and Colbert Station the firing line with name of the
Moon, uh, name uh, on the outside, name of the Moon, and Rose of the Moon, I should say, and then after these, the white cap of AP McCoy on double seven, Wayward Prince is being driven, and then Pino de Rey making ground, so to his hunt ball. Over fence 17 they go, and Colbert Station was just ahead across the bay, is now toiling, having been badly hampered. Rasta Marie and Quito de la Roca well behind as they come to the 18th. Rocky Creek just about led the field over it from Colbert Station. Double seven is much closer. McCoy in the white cap wide of the package. Mr. Moonshine just behind him as they come to the ditch, the 19th. Prince de Beauchene, one in a Milan in a yellow jacket, tracks them, watching the leaders get over it safely. Mistake from one in a Milan. Shakalaka boom boom blundered in rear. Quito de la Roca is just about last of those still going as they move on towards the next. Rocky Creek from Mr. Moonshine. Colbert Station took it in third and then double seven. Shakalaka Boom Boom meanwhile has been pulled up. Rose of the Moon is still going not far off. The leaders also still going the likes of Vintage Star. Monbeg Dude very patiently ridden in midfield as they go on towards the fence before Beaches. And at the 21st fence, it was Rocky Creek who led the field as they jumped the one before Beaches from Mr. Moonshine in second and double seven, then Colbert Station. The package in behind those with Balthazar King and Vintage Saar is next in the field. Up the inside, Prince de Beauchamp still well in touch along with Pino de Reyes. They take Beaches for the second time. Bad mistake on the inside from one in a Milan and he's down. One in a Milan has gone at Beaches for the second time as they make their way down to four in Avon. And out in front, Mr. Moonshine with Rocky Creek these the first pair from Prince de Beauchamp close up in behind with Pino de Rey. Double seven is with the leading group as well. Then Balthazar King. Next in the field is the package. Vesper Bells tracking those through. Then Rose of the Moon and Charles de Roy from Monbeg Dude and Alvarado. Then came Walk On. Next in the field is Hunt Ball, then Swing Ball. Behind that one is Vintage Star. Lena Berno's trying to make a bit of ground. Colbert Station's going to be pulled up at the back of the field. Wayward Prince is the last one going as they jump Valentine's. Also pulled up, we've had Triodo de Lane. Akito de la Roque has been pulled up. Most of those still going have got safely over Valentine's, where Mr. Moonshine, in the colours carried successfully 12 months ago, is out in front from Rocky Creek and Double Seven. Uh, Pino de Rey, Rose of the Moon was a faller when just beginning to struggle. Uh, looks as though Vintage Star is pulling up at the back of the field as they move on uh, towards uh, the next. Mr. Moonshine and Rocky Creek pretty much together. Double seven chance to Roy Redcap getting closer and then Pino de Rey and the package. And then towards the outside, Balthazar King. Leon Abane has been pulled up as they move on now uh, towards the third last. Mr. Moonshine and Rocky Creek take it as one. Chance to Roy right behind them with double seven. McCoy only a couple of lengths off the lead. Uh, others out the back of the field that are still going but tailed off include Hawks Point and Raz de Marie as they go over the Anchor Bridge crossing and heading towards the last uh, five and a half furlongs of the Crabby's Grand National. Rocky Creek with Pino de Rey in a white jacket joining him. Balthazar King coming up there on the outside. Wayward Prince unseated when tailed off at the third last. Double seven meanwhile is close up in fourth. Mr. Moonshine is back to fifth and then Charles de Roy as they turn for home and the final two fences. And it is Rocky Creek on the inside who has now taken the lead. A 12th ride in the race for Noel Feely. On his outside, Pino de Rey. A 7th ride here for Lake Nassau as Walk On is going to be pulled up before the second from home. Richard Johnson and Balthazar King towards the outside will take that one in third. And then AP McCoy on double seven was over in fourth as they race on now towards the 30th and final fence in the Crabby's Grand National. And it's Pino de Rey who comes to the final fence with Lake Nassau. They have a lead of three lengths over Balthazar King over in second. Double seven is now into third. Rocky Creek is in fourth. And then Chancellor Roy is in fifth. Mom Big Dude is in sixth. And Swing Bill is in seventh. As they race now on towards the elbow, it's Pino de Rey who is now clearing away. He's out in front by six lengths as he goes around the elbow to Balthazar King in second place. And on the outside is double seven. But with another 150 yards to go in the Crabby's Grand National, it is Pino de Rey for Dr. Richard Newland. A seventh ride in the race for Lake Nassville will be a winning ride as Pino de Rey wins the national. Balthazar King was in second and double seven was in third. Alvarado stayed on for fourth, followed by Chance de Roy, Rocky Creek, Mombeg Dude.